Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I am so very excited to be here with all of you today. We're going to be doing DIY Play-Doh. And our first Play-Doh recipe is really simple. And say we're going to be using some math skills, some measuring skills. And I've got my cup, my measuring cup, my one cup. And I'm going to get one cup of flour. I'm just going to take a scoop. You don't have to sift this or anything. We're just going to put it in. And then as you saw when you came on, I was pouring some salt. We're going to take a half a cup of salt. And don't worry, we'll put the recipe into the comments, I mean the posts afterwards so you can see it. Now, we're going to also add a half a cup of water. Where's my half a cup? There it is. So we're going to add a half a cup of water. In order to make pink, we take red, but we're going to just not put lots and lots of it in there. So because the flour is white and the salt is white, we're just going to do a couple of drops. So it's going to be like a red pink. We'll see what color turns out to. If you want a really dark red, add lots and lots of food coloring. And do we have this camera on up here? Let's turn this one on. So I was mixing this up. I feel like it's mixed up really well. And this was one that gets messy. I'm just going to add a little bit of water at a time. I'm not going to do quite the whole cup. I want to see what consistency we get. And you'll notice I added the color to the water beforehand. And I do that because it's not as messy. If you add it after, oh, it's just shooting out everywhere. All right, so I definitely need a little bit more water. I think that's gonna be a good little pink. Oh, it smells like flour. It makes me wanna make pizza dough. <laughs> Every time we play with the flour, I wanna make pizza dough. All right, so, so I might need a little bit more water, but I'm going to, before I add more water, I'm going to work this a little bit and I'm going to pull it out and knead it. Ooh, that's a good consistency right there. So I'm going to knead it a little bit. And I think sometimes it needs that. I made a joke. All right. This is actually a pretty good consistency. Let's pour it out there. So now I'm just going to, all right, it's crumbling a little bit. So it's, well, let's keep working it. Now it feels dry. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour, but I'm gonna grab it. I don't wanna put my pink hands in there. So if it feels like starting to feel a little sticky and you don't want it to be and so we're gonna add a little bit of flour oh this is really good consistency though and if you don't want a color if you just want it to be like the the whitish grayish play-doh yeah I think that's a good pink I'm gonna have just a, a little bit more flour and it's kind of where you want it to be in terms of texture. Oh yeah, this is so cool. I love making this stuff. Because the best part about it is afterwards you can make all sorts of shapes, designs, numbers, numbers right. letters. And really what I like is that for kids or adults who like to do things with their hands, it's, a, it's, a, it's really high sensory. So for the preschool kids and parents and teachers watching, uh, they know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's not just for little people, but like just texture and being able to um, play with it. But yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's a little sticky on the inside. So I'm just gonna break these up. And you can keep playing and making this to the perfect consistency. So this is the salt recipe. I'm pretty happy with that. It feels good. And then you can roll it, make a sphere, or if I wanna work on my shapes, I can flatten it out. Oh, I know what I wanna make. And you can let your imagination go wild. You can play, have fun.
Let's see if I can make, I don't know if I'll be able to make it, but we're going to try it. I know what you're thinking. It's a plus sign, but it's a baby. It's a little baby uh, butterfly. <laughs> My art skills have not been on the last couple of days. This matches perfectly with my design in the background. Look at that. It's a butterfly. Oh, this wing is just too big. It's not symmetrical. That's what it is. This wing is just too... There we go. See? He does have a head. It's right here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. It's like every butterfly I imagine making out of homemade Play-Doh. Now... You can do all sorts of cool designs, obviously. You can do shapes. You can work on geometric shapes. So how do you build a sphere? How do you build a pyramid? You know, turn it into something fun, a challenge for the family. And here's the really cool part. When you're done with this, my recommendation is to put it into the fridge in a Ziploc bag. It's gonna hold longer. It'll hold probably three to four weeks. But because it's made out of flour and salt and water, eventually it's going to go bad. It's not like regular Play-Doh. Um, but the more you can keep it cooled, and keep it clean so before you play with it wash your hands when you're done playing wash your hands and then when you put it away now here's the really cool part say you want to keep this forever right that beautiful butterfly and you can actually go in you can make little designs with your with your tools you could use cookie cutters that's a great idea thank you oma you could use a cookie cutter there, that looks better. I gave it some texture. Use another line down its back. And what you can do is you can take this and you can put it in the oven and bake it at 200 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. And you have to check on it. But eventually, if you want to cure it so that you have it forever, you can bake it and it'll turn into basically like, a, it's like a little rock almost. If you like that activity and want to see more experiments, Make sure you like and subscribe. See you soon.